Today I got some game highlights to show you against Tyrese in a friendly game. Not my best session to be honest. You probably know that Champions League the round of 16 starts today. Who do you think is going to win the Champions League this year? A great upper body session. First call on me, 100%. But anyway, we keep pushing. Hello guys and welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Isak. And today I got some game highlights to show you against Tyrese in a friendly game. I played 45 minutes and I made a few saves, which you don't want to miss. So stick to the end of the video. Anyway, right now I will be doing my individual football session that you know that I do every single morning. Or not every single morning, but I try to at least four days a week. My best session to be honest as time goes on and my leg is 100 back i'm going to try to increase the distance and try to work a little bit more on accuracy because right now i'm mainly working on technique when striking the ball because without a good technique on striking you won't get anywhere no strikes with the left foot due to the injury as you know now we keep pushing we keep working come on the next day you probably know that champions league the round of 16 starts today today we got psg versus by München, and of course as you know i'm a by München fan so i'm cheering for them and i've been looking forward for this game in a while since i saw that they were going to play against each other in the round of 16 and i would like to know who do you think is going to win the Champions League this year? With the round of 16 starting today, I want to know who do you think is going to come out as the winner of it all? Who is going to lift the trophy and be the champions of Europe? And then we also got Premier League, Arsenal versus Man City. What a week of football on the TV. For me, I really like to watch football. The only thing is that some of the game starts a little bit late. Well, of course, that depends on where you live. But here in Sweden, the Champions League game starts around 9 p.m which means that they are not done until 11 p.m and if you want to get around eight hours of sleep then that could be a bit tricky sometimes depending on the game sometimes i get too tired and i just fall asleep during the second half but of course that depends on which game it is if it's by mention against psg i'm going to watch the whole thing
bit of body session. Afterwards, I did some sauna and medium cold shower. What I have heard is that in reality, there are no studies that have shown that cold water will help you to recover faster. But I wanted to give it a try and see how my body would react. I will show you the game highlights against Tudusa right now. Alright, it's now the day after the game. I thought of going down to the pitch this morning, or I did with my dad, but apparently they had a game so we couldn't train. So instead I'm taking a day off, just relaxing, recovering, and especially for my leg. During the warm up yesterday I was so happy because I could play long balls without feeling any major pain. As you saw I played 45 minutes. And I'm only going to talk about those specific 45 minutes. I'm not going to talk about the whole game. If you are interested in the results, we lost 3-0. But seeing as it is a friendly, results doesn't really matter that much. Of course, we need to have that winning mentality to always strive to win the games. I feel like we dominated the majority of the game. Tiresa had a few chances in the first half. The majority of their chances were on our mistakes or a counter-attack. I think in the game, I make around three saves one where I left a awkward rebound. In that situation you can try to see or spot out your own outfield players and try to direct the rebound towards them. And then we got their goal. After the game I said to one of the coaches, first goal on me 100%, should have caught it. And then the coach is telling me, stop being too hard on yourself. And when he said that to me, well obviously I was still mad because I think it's a shot or a kind of cutback where I should have caught the ball. It's hard to see on the camera, but their player is basically two meters from me. He could have shot towards the goal, so I have to be ready to make a save. But instead he chose to play a cutback in the air. I have watched the play, I have analyzed the play, I have analyzed the goal and I know a few things I can improve on in that situation. But as I said, it's very difficult because as you know, the striker can shoot towards the goal. So I have to be ready for that, but I also have to be ready for the cutback 
which is the ball he plays. So maybe can you try to read that on his body language? Left foot, right foot, how he opens up. But anyway, we keep pushing. I will probably speak with you tomorrow because today not much things will happen. As I said, I was going to train this morning, but they had a game at the pitch. So instead I'm going to be at home and just probably edit a bit and then we'll just have to see. That's about it for today's week's episode. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future episodes, hit the subscribe button. I will speak with you in the next episode. Have a great week. Bye.